Hello everybody, David from Flash by B Cycle Not Here. And today I want to talk about something uh, I've been wanting to talk about for a while. And it's about burning up valves. Uh, you, you see on the internet all the time people either saying like I'm buying a bike, it's got an exhaust on it, I'm afraid that the valves are going to be burned up, or people talking about they put an exhaust on it and people reaching out saying, hey, you're going to burn your valves. And so I want to talk about this and uh, see where it comes from and how true it is. So the talk goes something like this, that when you increase airflow, the bike will run leaner because it is leaner. The combustion chamber will get hotter and because it's hotter, it will burn up your valves and make it look like in the pictures above. So let's take a look at each of that. So let's talk about where most bikes are lean from the factory. And this is at part throttle. You'd be surprised if you threw a bunch of bikes on the dyno uh, where the air fuel is when they're at full throttle. Most bikes, again, most bikes are not lean they're actually rich and a lot of times even with adding a fuel full system i have to take some fuel away so they're lean in part throttle partial rpms you're not going to create enough heat at that area to worry about it's a part throttle it's with on full throttle big long loads uh top end runs there's where you could create the heat and like as i'm saying the lion chair of motorcycles even stock programming are not lean with even putting a full exhaust system on them. So this picture shows what the valves look like. You got the long stems and then the bottom that almost looks like a mushroom head or whatever. And that's the part that has to seal up against the valve seal. And as long as the valves are sealing against the valve seal, well, we generally don't run into problems. And here we can see some valve seals where it's shiny and kind of gold. That's where the valve seat sits against the valve and seals. So um, you can have problems when the valve seals aren't seating. Uh, a lot of times when you hear about valves burning up, they're exhaust valves, and exhaust valves get tight as over time, not loose. So if a valve gets too tight, it won't seal, it won't close completely, and then the heat from the combustion chamber will get on the other side of the valve, and at that point, you 100% could burn valves. So let's look at where this probably all comes from, and that's from back in the day when we had leaded fuel. So lead in the fuel actually used to cool and lubricate the valves, valve train, and different stuff. Mid-70s, we switched over to unleaded fuel because the tetraethyl lead is uh, bad for you, and it clogs up catalytic converters. So when we started to worry about emission stuff, we went away from unleaded fuel, I mean, from leaded fuel and went to unleaded fuel. So you can imagine when we took away part of the lubrication and part of the keep, part to keep it cooler, and these valves that were relatively soft, we would have problems and motors that were run hard, motorcycles that we would race or whatever, and long periods of time at extended RPMs with high load on them, they would burn their valves. And if the mixture was richer, it would run a little cooler and protect the valve some. So that air fuel ratio became very critical to protecting valves when we first switched to unleaded fuel. But then what happened is it's the manufacturers all started to put in what we call hardened valve seats and engines. And these hardened valve seats don't rely, rely on the coolant of the leaded fuel or the lubrication or really worrying about air fuel ratio. They can deal with the heat inside the combustion chamber. So with better technology in valves, better technology in valve seats, we just don't see that sensitivity to air fuel ratio and heat causing burned up valves. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to burn up valves from a lean mixture. I'm just saying it's way, way harder than people think it is based off what they read on the internet. I'm also saying that if the bike runs well and feels good, this is not a problem. Your bike, in my opinion, would run so poorly that you would know there was an issue and you'd stop riding it. It's not like it's going to be some silent killer that the bike is running great and then you find out 10,000 miles down the road, oh, the bike was a little lean, so you burned up your valves. So can we please stop with the, you're going to burn your valve up, police, on the internet? It obviously is a tuner. It would behoove me to propagate this feeling that you've got to get a tune or you're going to burn up your valves. But in most cases, it's just not true. So let's, uh, let's stop with the you're going to burn your valves up. So thanks, guys, for taking a listen. I uh, appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and the like. Thanks, guys. Take care.